Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand slotted aloha. So, the aloha is broadly divided into two types. One is pure aloha and the other one is slotted aloha. The concepts related to pure aloha has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because the understanding of pure aloha is very much important to understand slotted aloha. So, it is a developed uh, developed protocol when compared with the pure aloha and every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class we'll try to understand slotted aloha so what this slotted aloha is in the pure aloha what happens how the medium uh, will get accessed by the computers is by the systems is so whenever there is a data they will transmit the data so without any without uh, without uh, any concern about the other systems they will just send the data and there is a possibility for greater amount of collision and the retransmissions are going to be very high and the efficiency of the pure aloha system is 18 percent which is very very less so all these concepts has been discussed what happens in the slotted aloha is the entire timeline so this is the timeline and these are the systems the entire timeline is divided into slots so what is the amount of time which is taken for the slots it is the transmission time so let's assume that the transmission is two seconds so uh, it is not going to be two seconds it is in milliseconds let's try to assume that the, the transmission time is two seconds so uh, what is meant by transmission time it is the amount of time taken by the data frame to get transmitted uh, from one system to another system is what we call it as transmission time so these time slots are divided into uh, uh, these time slots are divided the entire time is divided into slots and the time slot to time period is tt which is two seconds in the slotted aloha what happens is whenever the system has data to transmit it will transmit only at the start of the time slot only at the start of the time slot so let's try to assume that this system is having some data to transmit so it has transmitted it has transmitted and they and none of the systems are trying to transmit so the slot has been registered so this is our first slot which is at the 0th second of the uh, time period of the time at that particular point of time so this slot is available for this fourth system and it is going to access the slot it is going to access the slot so uh, this whenever so the transmission so for example here at the 0. 0. 0.001 or uh, 0 0.01001 second if there is if this system is willing to transmit is it possible for it to transmit no it is not possible for it to transmit because the the uh, slot is already being occupied by the fourth system so this is first system second system third system and fourth system so uh, when this system can access the slot when this uh, system can access the medium is at the start of this slot so when it is going to end this is going to 0 to 2 4 to uh, 2 to 4 4 to 6 8 10 and these are the time periods where these are the times at which the systems can access the slots okay so now uh, 2 is ready to send so when it is when it is capable of transmit uh, transmitting the data at at this point of time only the 2 can transmit assume that there is no other system in competition contention uh, contention so this data frame related to the 2 will get transmitted at this period now now what happened is the third system is willing to transmit at uh, 2 point 2.4 seconds at 2.4 seconds uh, let's assume that this is the point where the third system is willing to transmit and at 3.4 seconds the the first system is willing to transmit so is there any possibility of collision in this in this uh, slotted aloha yes there is a possibility so how the collision will occur is now at 2.4 
सेकेंड फोर्थ सेकेंड दिस सिस्टम थर्ड सिस्टम इज विलिंग टू ट्रांसमिट एट 3.4 पॉइंट फोर द फर्स्ट सिस्टम इज विलिंग टू ट्रांसमिट एट थ्री पॉइंट नाइन्थ सेकेंड फोर्थ सिस्टम इज विलिंग टू ट्रांसमिट सो आर दे एबल टू ट्रांसमिट एज एंड वेन दे आर विलिंग टू ट्रांसमिट नो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो हाउ द स्लॉटेड अलोहा इज डिजाइंड इज द स्लॉट एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ द स्लॉट ओनली दे कैन ट्रांसमिट सो वेन दिस टू पॉइंट फोर वेन दिस सो एट टू पॉइंट फोर द फर्स्ट सिस्टम at 3.4 the third system at 3.9 the fourth system is willing to transmit so when this system can transmit so it is in the middle of the time slot so it can transmit only at the start of the start of the slot so this system 3.4 when it can transmit it can transmit only at the fourth second start of the slot and when this fourth system can transmit it can transmit only at the Say fourth second. So at the start of the, at that start of the time slot, then only then uh, then only these systems can transmit. Now is there any possibility of collision? Yes, there is a possibility of collision. So these three systems will get collided at this point of time. Okay. So there is a possibility of collision, but it is. comparatively lesser when compared with the pure aloha in the pure aloha so as the random axis is, is at any point of time a, a point of time where the system is willing to transmit so the collisions are very high but here in the slotted aloha the collisions are well, very less so what is the vulnerable time for this slotted aloha so the concept of vulnerable time for pure aloha has already been discussed so the vulnerable time for this slotted aloha is is for the pure aloha just try to recap the things it is 2 into transmission time but whereas in the slotted aloha the vulnerable time is just the transmission time so where a, a, a where can a a packet or the data frame can be collided so it is the length of the time at this point uh, it is the length of the time where the collision can occur is what we call it as a vulnerable time so what is the vulnerable time for slotted aloha so it is the length of the time so this is the time where the collision can occur where the collision can occur so the transmission so uh, the vulnerable time for slotted aloha is it is just the transmission time so it is half less than so it is half of the time of the pure aloha so what is the efficiency what is the efficiency of slotted aloha is so the efficiency or throughput of the slotted aloha is it is g into 2 power minus g so uh, in the pure aloha the efficiency the throughput is g into 2 power minus 2g 2g but here it is 2 power minus g minus g so how we are going to derive this formula it is the out of the scope of this concept uh, of this uh, course so just uh, the throughput is 2 into 2 power minus 2g uh, for pure aloha whereas for slotted aloha it is uh, as as the as the transmission time so here minus 2g is just 2 into 2 uh, transmission time here here it has been halved the pure aloha time has been halved so the slotted aloha transmi uh, vulnerable time is just half the uh, time of the pure aloha so it is taken as g into 2 power minus g g into 2 power minus g so when when the value of g is equal to 1 when the value of g is equal to 1 we are going to get the maximum efficiency maximum efficiency so the value of this throughput is 36 so which is approximately which is equal to 36% whereas the uh, efficiency or the throughput of the uh, pure aloha is uh, the pure aloha is 18% and whereas when compared with the slotted uh, when compared with the pure aloha the slotted aloha the efficiency has been doubled when co comparatively slotted aloha is more efficient when compared with the pure aloha why because the collisions the transmissions are done only at the start of the slot 
okay so this is how this is how uh, the slotted aloha uh, will be hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching